asking me what would be the material that I choose for the last, uh, the next three years would be as ridiculous as asking a writer choose the, the one word for the next uh, three years to express yourself. This is impossible. I mean, materials are the way I try to tell stories, express emotions. So if you give me just one material, okay, I will be able to make a chair and a table, but I don't think this will be very fun. The only trend I can see, uh, which is a common point from an aesthetic and the opposite of this aesthetic, is this necessity uh, to have long-term valuable product. Uh, it looks today that the, the uh, instant uh, consume gadget are no longer what we're looking for, you know. Uh, this exaggeration of product that are just a wow for, uh, for a bit, then uh, you can throw away. This is the only trend I can see. I see that there is a lot of work on cleaning the product to uh, find the essence of them and not overcharging with design stuff on top. I'm still doing new things, but I try to input or insert in my new things a certain dose of timeless uh, values to be sure. And this is what I like when I when I look at my at the product I've designed. I don't like to look too much to myself in the mirror, but sometimes I have the question: What do you like in what you in what you've done till now? They're always the same product, product that could have been designed 20 years uh, from now, or product I believe that in 20 years from now I would be able to design the same way. So more than a, a gimmick of uh, consumption today, I think this really long-lasting value in product is uh, what I expect. I have a story to tell and I use uh, either furniture or spaces as a media to tell this story. I mean, my work, I've discovered the last 10 years that my work of being a designer is not far from storyteller, writer or movie maker. I'm using uh, shapes, materials, uh, uh, color as vocabulary. Uh, so when I'm doing a space, of course it has to be functional, of course it has to be uh, uh, comfortable. But the game is, uh, what, what is it telling to people? How will you remember this space? Not in the matching of the carpet and the, and the, and the wallpaper, but in the kind of uh, experience, emotion or storytelling is giving you. So this is the way I do the furniture. I try not just to design nice or not nice, but try to uh, uh, insert some contents that are more mental, let's say, even if they are visual, but that touch the head more than just uh, the look. And it's exactly the same if I'm doing a shop for a company, what is interesting is not my point of view on the shop, is how I'm able to express the value and the imaginary of the company. This is what I call a story to tell in a space. If you look at the uh, uh, um, games, video games, I mean, this is, this is a lot of experience. This is not the same experience than the physical one. It's not far, but it's not the same. So I think you can really provide, uh, even in buying and having uh, online shops, a real shopping experience, which will be slightly different from the physical experience where things are real, but you have an experience. Uh, if you see on a very good uh, uh, site, uh, you can play, you can have a custom-made product, you can do your product yourself, you can choose between various things, uh, even if you don't feel or touch the fabric, you have a lot of pictures describing it. So I think this is another world, which is the immaterial world, the, the uh, digital world. But more and more, there is a strong experience in this world, which is as strong as the uh, physical one.